The information is ready. We've got the right size steel now with us to run it on. Uh, excuse me. Oh, did you get that all over you? Apparently. In Cock County, Tennessee. Check her out there, bees. All right. Bart, Digger, and Bees are ready to transform a honey shine fail into a killer concoction. I think it's ready to run. Well, the mash looks good. It's ready to run. We've just got to get this steel assembled. Go get it, Bees. This amount of liquid in a big steel won't come up that far. So that's not getting up to the cores where it's going to get heated. Well, we can't make any liquor if we don't heat it up. So we need a smaller steel. So we pull out one of our one barrel steels and get set up. Way to go. Now, 55 more trips, and you're where you need to be. Based on a 55-gallon capacity of mash, you know, you can expect five, six-gallon yield. Now we need the big buckets, Mr. Beasley. Oh, we need to put mine in there. You got to remember, we are including 15 gallons of high-proof alcohol in it. So when you distill it, you get all that alcohol back. The hope here is, is all that sediment and all that ugly color is going to go away with this run. With a subtle and beautiful hint of honey. All right, let's get this cap in place and start pasting everything up. We've crossed all our T's and dotted all of our I's, but there's no sure things in the backwoods liquor business. Our hope is that we're going to create somewhere, you know, in the 20 to 23 gallon range of uh, liquor. But you can't count your chicken before the hatch. I think if everything goes well, bees, you're going to be much more satisfied. We need a rock that weighs exactly six pounds, four ounces. Look, I saw one. Where was that? Right over there. Well, OK, I was going to use that one. <laughs> get that putty, and let's get to pacing it up. I'll eat it. Hey, we had some snow. That's four pounds, three ounces. Seven pounds, eight ounces. Did you, can you, what part of that right over there don't you, look here, bees. <laughs> Looks like a meteorite. Oh, that one. He's gonna yeah. kill you one of these days. <laughs> that yeah, is baby. right. Bees? He should have just said kryptonite. If you kill him one of these days, I'll totally understand. <laughs> Thank you. Get some of that putty and hand him some big dog, baby. See, we quit making paste. Oh yeah, that's right, new technique. This is... Show him how there, Digger. Let me get around there so I can see that. Plumber's putty. Come on in here, man. You get you a big daub of this. It's a little cold. You have to warm it up in your hands. That stuff is really good. It's reusable, too. Reusable. Now, you go all the way around that one. OK. I've got this. Let me show you a little something. Yeah. And this stuff, I mean, it's food grade. This is what you put your sink baskets in with. Look at here. Roll it out. Roll it out. Throw it in a pan. Look at here. Uh -huh. It goes right around through there like so. OK. What do you think of that, bees? That's great. So you're making a belt instead of having to just dab one spot at a time. Yep. All All right. Right. You just, you'll have to just keep pushing it a little bit, but it'll take, it'll stick. It don't take a lot. But we found out it to be extremely useful. And way quicker. You don't get your fingers all puttied up. And yeah, and it, you know the way that old rye paste and them oats paste, how they stick to your fingers, that don't do it. Get it crammed down the crack a little bit. You and Bidney. It don't get hard during the run. The heat don't affect it. Well, that is a hundred times faster. Ain't that dandy? Yeah. Sucker getting warm fast. It, it looks like it. I need one more piece. There, thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're warming up. Keep your fingers crossed. Well, good deal. This is so cool, making the stinging honey. There's lots of flavors out there. Sure they are. I looked them up, man. There's apple pie moonshine, peach cobbler moonshine, blueberry muffin moonshine, chocolate cake moonshine, banana pudding moonshine, sweet tea moonshine. There's moonshine made out of coconuts. There's moonshine made out of bananas. You got pepperoni pizza. Moonshine. Then you got moonshine that's made out of what it does to you. Red Why are y'all saying I'm naked? Moonshine. Where's my other shoe? Moonshine. That's actual moonshine. Does your daddy have jumper cables? Moonshine. No, that's just what he's been accustomed to when he drank moonshine. My fake leg is missing. Moonshine. I think you're full of Whose dog is this? Mark come through the campground one night and he was drunk on that homemade liquor. 
had one flip-flop on and one off. I said, damn, I said, did you lose a flip-flop? He looked down, he said, nope, I found one. I want to make red beans and rice moonshine. Why, because you want drunk farting all the time? <laughs> I do. Let's just get some honey stung moonshine done Yeah, let's first. get this perfected first. You ain't done real good with what you've done just yet. Carrot cake, moonshine. I don't like carrot cake. Turkey and dressing. I mean, you can do anything with moonshine. They got maple bacon. Yeah. They can do anything. Smoked ribs, moonshine. Oh, I love smoked ribs. I wish they'd find anything to do that'd shut them up. Anything from Cracker Barrel's menu, moonshine. What? While you're holding that, I'll be over here on the tailgate rest. It's cornbread moonshine, Mexican cornbread moonshine. You know, other than a size, uh, having killer bees that you still sight, you know, it's kind of like having a 10-year-old. You started talking 17 mm -hmm. seconds ago, and you've done said a thousand words. Vanilla ice cream. Just let him be over there. Oreo cookie. He just jabbers and talks foolishness all the time. Red velvet cake. <laughs> Moonshine. <laughs> You know, Digger and I, we're kind of like an old married couple. We finish each other's sentences, but we go a long time and not talk for 10 minutes. Frozen leftover chicken wings, moonshine. Bees can say 3,000 words in six minutes. I mean, he jabbers about something all the time. He don't mean anything by it, but damn, he don't ever shut up. Vicks Vapor Rub. Let's moonshine. How about that damn, that really good liquor? This quiet time moonshine. <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah. God almighty. Wait, 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 look. Look at there, and that's what you want. Wow. Perfect screen. Bees? Yep. We got a jar of heads yet? Yep. Call set? Yep. Watch them Sally Menders do a day. That one's walking on its tail. The liquor's running. Bees has tossed his heads out. What we're catching in the tub now is hopefully the product that we're looking for. Jerk us a jar out there. Let's take us a little taste. This is what it's all about, boys, whether we've made liquor or down buttermilk. I am so tickled. Wow. Here. Yeah. Oh, man, it's got a great nose. Really? Yeah. Man, that's outstanding. We've got this liquor run off. It's perfect. It's clear as a bell. By comparison to what bees brought us initially from that, to a beautiful, clear liquor. That's all the difference in the world. The fact that it tastes great, that's a bonus. Dude, that is fantastic. Is that kind of what you had in mind? It's way better than what I had in mind. The run has done extremely well. We have Bees' original 15 gallons back and bucketed up the new mead mash, produced a little dab over five gallons of new liquor. And honestly, we couldn't be happier.